In the latest flyover footage from Joe Tegmeyer at Tesla's Gigafactory Texas in Austin, hundreds of compact vehicle bodies are being assembled simultaneously. Based on their smaller size and production layout, analysts believe these could be Tesla's long-rumored Model 2 prototypes, the affordable EV set to launch in 2026. Meanwhile, over at Fremont Factory, similar test units have been spotted moving through evaluation zones, while the CyberCab continues internal crash testing. All signs suggest Tesla has entered the pre-production phase for its next-gen Platform 1, NGP-1, the same architecture that may also underpin the company's next surprise, the Tesla Model 2. So what are the three all-new features we found on 2026 Model 2? Could these upgrades really end China's dominance in the EV market? And what do they mean for everyday drivers looking for a real Tesla at an affordable price? We'll break it all down, right here in today's video. You're watching Auto Gear Shift, the channel that cuts through the noise to bring you real data-driven Tesla news and analysis, not recycled rumors. If you enjoy straight-to-the-point updates like this, hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Let's get Auto Gear Shift to 12,121 subscribers together. Your click helps us keep independent coverage rolling. Feature number one, next-gen platform. How can Tesla build a car 40% cheaper and 50% faster than the Model 3? During Tesla's 2025 Q2 earnings call, we got some leaks about what insiders had been whispering for months. The Model 2 will ride on the company's brand new next-gen Platform 1. But this isn't just another platform update. According to leaked internal documents, NGP-1 is designed to cut total production cost per unit by about 40% compared with the Model 3, while slashing assembly time by roughly half. The key lies in a full redesign of how a Tesla is built, not just what it's built from. Instead of a linear production line that moves a half-finished car through dozens of stations, the new unboxed process splits the Model 2 into five large modules, each built separately by dedicated robot clusters. These modules, the front and rear castings, the battery floor structure, the cabin interior, and the upper shell, are then brought together for final assembly that takes less than five minutes compared with nearly 20 on a Model 3 line. This parallel workflow allows one NGP-1 line to push out a finished car roughly every 37 seconds, almost twice as fast as Tesla's current factories. That efficiency is amplified by Tesla's third-generation gigacasting system. The Model 3's body is made from 171 individual metal pieces welded together, the Model 2 will use just two massive aluminum castings, one for the front, one for the rear, each weighing around 110 kilograms. Formed under up to 9,500 tons of pressure, these castings reduce total body weight by about 15% and boost structural rigidity by roughly 20. The streamlined design cuts labor time in the body shop by nearly a third and trims the number of welding robots per line from 300 to about 120. The supply chain gets the same treatment. By reducing total component varieties by almost half and simplifying logistics routes, Tesla expects inbound shipping and handling costs to fall by about 30%. Each gigafactory using the next-gen setup can now produce close to 2 million vehicles a year, roughly double the output of a Model 3 plant of similar size. Financially, the math is just as aggressive. The capital cost per annual vehicle output drops from roughly $3.5 billion for a Model 3 line to about $2 billion under NGP-1. Operating cost per unit falls from $31,000 to $18,200, cutting the payback time for new factories from three and a half years to under two. Those numbers make it possible for Tesla to price the Model 2 around $17,800 to $19,000, a figure once thought impossible outside China. For comparison, the BYD Seagull sells at $10,500 and the Wuling Mini EV at $5,000, but both rely on much cheaper labor and smaller form factors. The difference is, 
Tesla can now compete head-on with them from North America or Mexico, not just from China. Feature number two, aluminum ion battery. Can Tesla's 2026 breakthrough end China's grip on EV batteries? According to internal documents and early lab data, the upcoming aluminum ion, al ion cells are targeting an energy density of around 300 watt hours per kilogram, up from 180 to 200 watt hours per kilogram on Tesla's current LFP cells used in Model 3 and Model Y standard range vehicles. That's roughly a 60% increase in energy density, meaning Tesla can achieve the same 300 mile range using a 30 to 35% smaller and lighter battery pack. In practice, that could shave up to 180 kilograms from the Model 2's curb weight, improving both acceleration and efficiency. Charging speed is where the chemistry really shines. Thanks to the extremely high mobility of trivalent aluminum ions, AL3+, and the use of graphene composite anodes with conductivity exceeding 1 million square meters per meter, Tesla's latest prototypes have achieved 0 to 80% charge in under 8 minutes, using a 350 kilowatt DC charger. For comparison, the Model 3 LFP pack needs around 25 minutes for the same charge. Thermal tests show negligible degradation even under 10 C charge rates, suggesting the Model 2 could reclaim 150 miles of range in about 5 minutes, faster than most refueling stops. Durability is equally impressive. Laboratory cycle testing performed with Rocket Lab's equipment indicates 12,000 full charge-discharge cycles, equivalent to more than 1.8 million kilometers of real-world driving. That's 2.5 times the cycle life of current LFP chemistry and about five times longer than high-nickel NCA packs used in the Model S and Model X. Even after 10,000 cycles, cell capacity retention remains at 91% while internal resistance growth stays under 2 milliohms, a record low figure in EV battery testing. Perhaps the most underrated advantage lies in the chemistry's thermal stability. The aluminum ion cell operates safely from minus 30 degrees Celsius up to plus 90 degrees Celsius, far wider than the minus 10 degrees Celsius to plus 55 degrees Celsius envelope of most lithium cells. This wide thermal margin means Tesla can eliminate heavy liquid cooling loops and complex heat pumps entirely, saving $400 to $600 per car in hardware and improving reliability in extreme climates, from Canadian winters to Texan summers. From a cost perspective, the numbers are game-changing. With aluminum and graphene being far more abundant than lithium or nickel, Raw material cost per kilowatt hour could drop by 28 to 30 percent, putting pack level costs close to $58 per kilowatt hour, down from roughly $80 per kilowatt hour for current LFP packs. If achieved at scale, this would push the total battery cost for the Model 2 below $5,000, an unprecedented milestone in modern EV manufacturing. Production is already being mapped out. Gigafactory Texas is slated to host the first pilot aluminum ion cell line by Q3 2026, with an estimated initial capacity of 15 gigawatt hours per year, enough for about 400,000 Model 2 units annually. Tesla insiders suggest the line could ramp to 75 gigawatt hours by 2028, rivaling BYD's blade battery output. But beyond all these specs lies a deeper motive independence from China's supply chain. At present, China refines nearly 70% of the world's lithium, 63% of nickel sulfate, and over 80% of graphite anode materials. By transitioning to aluminum ion chemistry, Tesla effectively bypasses those choke points. Aluminum is the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust, and North America already refines over 4.5 million metric tons annually providing a fully domestic pathway for EV battery production. Feature number three, AI-driven cabin and HW5 autonomy. Can Tesla's next brain outthink China's smart EVS? The third pillar of the 2026 Model 2 isn't about what's under the hood. It's about what's behind the wheel. 
For the first time, Tesla is equipping a mass-market car with its HW5 Autopilot computer, a custom silicon platform fully designed in-house by the Dojo AI team. With 500 trillion operations per second, tops of processing power, HW5 doubles the performance of HW4 while consuming just 60% of its energy, placing it within reach of NVIDIA's Thor chip which many Chinese automakers plan to use in 2025. In other words, Tesla's smallest car will run on one of the most efficient AI brains ever put in a vehicle. But hardware alone doesn't define the upgrade. The Model 2's interior is built around a voice-first and vision-aware environment, moving away from Tesla's signature large touchscreen and toward a cabin that reacts to the driver rather than being controlled by them. Using an integrated eye tracking and facial recognition system, the car identifies who's sitting inside, automatically adjusts seat position, climate settings, and even the heads-up display layout to match the driver's preferred style. It's the first Tesla designed to feel personal from the moment you step in. The system's onboard AI doesn't just respond, it learns. After roughly two weeks of driving data, it begins predicting user routines suggesting optimal charging times based on local energy prices and recommending routes that balance speed, weather, and traffic conditions. Tesla engineers describe it as a proactive co-pilot, powered by a lightweight neural model trained directly on Dojo supercomputers. On the autonomy front, the HW5 platform is built to run Tesla's Level 4 full self-driving software, which is now in internal testing at the Fremont track. Early data from those tests show 99.2% accuracy in complex urban scenarios such as multi-lane merges, unprotected left turns, and dynamic pedestrian crossings, performance metrics no Chinese EV maker has yet matched. BYD, NIO, and XPENG still rely on third-party stacks from NVIDIA or Mobileye, giving Tesla a critical edge by owning its full AI pipeline from silicon to software. The result is a cabin that not only recognizes its driver, but also thinks ahead of them, merging Tesla's FSD intelligence with the personal adaptability of next-gen consumer tech. For buyers used to static infotainment systems, the Model 2 could feel more like interacting with a digital assistant than a car interface. And that's everything we know so far about the 2026 Tesla Model 2. Faster to build, cheaper to buy, and smarter than ever before. If Elon Musk really delivers all three features, this could be the car that changes the EV market forever. But what do you think? Would you actually buy a $17,000 Tesla if it hits the market in 2026? Comment, Model 2, if you'd trade your current car for it. Don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our next deep dive into Tesla's biggest breakthroughs.